our afros and braids low class so a couple months ago i saw a video of a black woman stating that natural hairstyles will only attract low caliber They were not classy or elegant at all. She had also mentioned that the only way for you to get away with wearing your natural hair is if you have a looser, wavier curl pattern. So this black woman is married to a black man, and this is very important for me to point out. Her perception of what natural hairstyles are classy is through the lens of what most black men in the west to be specific find the most attractive so when you wear natural hairstyles as a black woman whether that is your 4c hair or braids and don't let it be that your braids are a little grown out at the roots right a lot of black men are not going to find you attractive the more afrocentric you look in general the more unattractive they deem you and i'm not saying all of them are like this, but a lot are. So a lot of black women will see this and they will start to internalize it. And that's why so many of them feel so comfortable telling other black women that if you wear your Afro out or if you wear any sort of braids in, you're not going to be deemed as attractive. When I was wearing 40 inch bust downs, I was only attracting certain groups of men. I was attracting Tyrone the Tyrants, Day Days, and non-black men who like to cosplay as what they think the stereotypical American black man is like. The men that I attract now were not pursuing me when I had a bust down in with those baby hairs. It wasn't until I stopped wearing bust down wigs where I was now being approached by higher caliber men. Those same men who were pursuing me when I had the bust down in now think I'm not the most attractive. Natural hairstyles are a repellent against low caliber men, which is more of the reason as to why I will continue to wear them. So I had mentioned this before. As a black woman, depending on how you style what the color of your hair is and what the length of your hair is you will attract completely different men i remember years ago there was this discussion on twitter amongst black women and they were discussing on whether or not braids were a classy and elegant hairstyle for dinners and other events the whole discussion was so outlandish despite how some black women may feel about natural hairstyles I will not stop wearing natural hairstyles. I have had the best results wearing natural hairstyles. The same black woman who believe that you will not attract a man of means when you have in an afro or you have some braids in, more than likely do not get approached by non-black men, but rather they get approached by black men who probably tell them that they look better and much more prettier with Esmeralda's hair in or with Lulu's hair in. Please do not think that you need to start wearing lace front wigs in order to attract a high caliber man. If one group doesn't like your hair, go to the next group. How can my hair that grows out of my scalp be deemed as low class deem another hair type beautiful will never be that person i am me for a reason i love being me i think i need to make a little bit of an intro here for those who don't know i love myself i love myself i love who i am this is why sometimes i don't give a damn about the outfits okay you watch me and then this is what you get. This is me here. Complete content. I'm not looking for anything from you. You just take what I give you. And if it's not enough for you, then go elsewhere. There's about a millions, a billions of YouTubers uploading their videos every single day. So it's not just me. So I love myself. Okay. Um, I, 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 it took 10 years. 10 flipping years to get to this point. I th it's even more than that. But 10 years. I love my hair. I love my eyes. I love who I am. I love my history. I love my family. I love where I come from. I will never be anything else. Why would I wear somebody's hair and feel content? And the very same men who tell you that you should wear another hair and you look more beautiful are the same ones who tell you that you don't want to look natural. You don't want to look beautiful. You don't want to... You get what I'm saying? A man who is comfortable with himself 
will be content with you whatever you wear on your hair whether it's a wig whether it's a braids whatever you know he will be comfor comfortable with you but the man who is not comfortable with you and your hair they don't love you they love the idea of you and what they think you should hold yourself to this is why again even white men do this it's not just strictly it's strictly to black men even white men do this they feel like you should be thin. You should be closer to what a white woman is, which is thin, uh, you know, softer hair. And then be closer, an ideal personality of a white woman. You should speak English. You shouldn't speak. You should eat a certain way. You should live a certain life. <sighs> Pathetic, if you ask me. As a black woman who wears any sort of natural hair or any sort of natural hairstyle, your biggest critics will be black people, black women and black men. There was a video that I posted that a girl did not like. I wasn't even being rude in the video, but she ended up coming for my braids, which I expected. If you have any sort of afro, if your edges are not laid, if you have grown out braids, they will come for all of that. She had basically said that my braids were raggedy. And so I go onto her page and I see that she is wearing Elsmeralda's hair. Now, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. You have to be extremely bold to make fun of another black woman for her natural hair or her natural hairstyles while wearing Elsmeralda's hair on your head. If you have a visible piece of fabric, and it's always visible, if you have a visible piece of fabric glued onto your forehead, you don't have any right to talk about anyone's hair. I had mentioned that to her. I told her that it's so funny how you're coming at me for my braids and you have fabric glued onto your forehead. Long story short, she did end up blocking me, which is what they always do whenever I call them out on their nonsense. You cannot make fun of another black woman's natural hair when you aren't even wearing yours, babe. Like no. The same white women wear wigs, extensions that mimic their hair okay they will keep it for as long as necessary it will stay and grow there you know for as long as they deem but me i have to be perfect all the time makeup on point whatever on point i don't like that you know i'm not on point all the time and most of the time i'm like this i'm at home so i'm not gonna push up for you okay you are not that relevant and important i'm sorry I'm the important one here. It's my channel. It's my channel. The relevant person is here. You come here to see me in all my glory, imperfections and all. You are here to see me. I'm the important one. I'm the star. I am the woman that adores herself in all her perfections or imperfections as you would deem. Whether I'm ugly to you or not, it doesn't even matter to me. I love myself. I adore myself. You know? Now let's get to the point. You wearing your hair, fake hair, whatever hair, you know that it's linked to your inner conf your your lack of confidence of yourself. Whether you want to admit it or not. You know it. And I know because I've been there myself. I used to want to wear a wig because it would hide my forehead, you know? But now ah uh, you see? Doesn't matter. You see my point? Okay. I'm comfortable. You know, I learned to be comfortable. And in the, in, the, in the days of the past, I wouldn't even wear something like this. Like, never. When I started YouTube, like, in the... Because I had failed YouTubes before, right? In the past, I would, I would take an effort to dress up and look nice. And I was like, I'm getting tired of this. Like, on TikTok, I'm more relaxed and stuff like that. I would make TikToks like this. And why should on YouTube be different? I'm going to carry it like this and continue. I was about to ask what's Esmeralda here, but I found the answer in the comments. I agree with you. Wait, who's Esmeralda? <laughs> they are the same people who say you can't wear braids for your birthday. Thank you. They are quick to hate on natural hair, but won't wear their own since elementary school. And it's always visible. I love the look of freezy grown out braids. Literally Simone Biles while being the greatest gymnast. I love this side of TikTok. I'm slow. Who's Esmeralda? Esmeralda is fake hair.